goes away on May 18th. My answer is the PDF patterns in the videos, you can watch anytime. So you can watch next week, you can watch five years from now, the videos will still be available to you. So say if you make the one of the bags now, five years from now you wanna make the bag again, the video will still be available in your account. So those don't go away. Um, I had a question once. I restarted the YouTube feed. Hopefully if, okay. if, they, if they were having issues with their YouTube, it is now working. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, as far as the video staying in your account forever, I had a sort of a similar question to that one time that I remember getting. Um, this person asked, uh, what if we go out of business? What happens to the videos that they purchase? I don't think we plan on going out of business because this is the only thing that either of us do. So yeah. if, if we don't have so sweetness and the videos and the patterns, uh, we don't have a, a backup plan. So <laughs> we plan on being here uh, doing this for a long time. Fingers crossed. <laughs> um, has Ikea always sold fabric? Oh, that's a good. You want to put on the? Yep. Can you put it on the screen? Sure can. Um, Alex wants to know, has Ikea always sold fabric? Um, I don't know how long they have been doing so. I, I would think at least 10 years. I remember going there when my son was a baby and them having the yardage. The fun thing about buying fabric from Ikea is you cut it yourself and you write on the little sales slip like how much how much you cut. So I guess it's a uh, customer's honor that you're uh, being honest with your ticket, what you're writing down there. But um, they have some really cool prints. A lot of them are really large scale, um, probably too big for a bag, but I found some nice like geometric prints from Ikea before. Also, if you are on YouTube and you missed the um, part, of, as someone said there was eight minutes of no video, but I guess the chat was working. I will take uh, the feed we have for our other video and I'll upload that to YouTube. So if you missed a portion of it and you wanna see what we're talking about, I'll upload that as a separate video so you can also watch it again. Okay, cool. Yep. All right. Oh, you want to put that one up there? Kelly May? That's a good question. This question was about the Lilium laptop bag. Um, I bought the Lilium laptop bag and wondered what the purpose of the cheap fabric was for. I made one but totally skipped that step. So um, in that Lilium laptop bag, it has not only foam interfacing but half-inch craft foam, which is thick craft foam and not meant to be sewn over. So I make sort of a sleeve in the lining with the lining fabric and a cheap fabric. So the sleeve is just, say the front of the bag, one of the main panels sewn right sides together along three sides. So the sides and the bottom, it makes sort of an envelope for the craft foam to go And The craft foam is cut a half, sorry, the craft foam is cut one inch smaller on all sides to keep it out of the seam allowance, well out of the seam allowance since you can't sew over it. So the cheap fabric is just to make the sleeve and the lining to insert that craft foam and then you close up the, the fourth side and then it's just treated as one of the pattern pieces in the lining. So it's just treated as one of the main panels, but that cheap fabric is just so you can create the sleeve to insert the, the craft foam in. Um, Sonia says, I bought your uh, four pack video bundle and I'm not sure how to see the video. So if you're ever not sure how to watch videos you've purchased, um, the instructions do come in the order confirmation or shipping confirmation if you purchased physical products, but if you go to sosweetness.com, there's a video tab on the top of the screen. Click on that video tab and I think five or six options come up for you. And the option on the bottom says video access instructions. And that's what you wanna click on. And I have screenshots and step-by-step -step instructions on how to access the videos. But um, the short answer for that is if you log into your account, memberships is where the videos are. Um, I, I wish we could change the name to videos, but it, it's memberships um, and your PDF patterns will be under downloads. Um, Jill says, where did you find your baskets on your shelves behind you? These were from Amazon. They came in several different finishes. I think I chose the gunmetal. They had nickel and copper as well. And I just, I believe I just did a search on Amazon for wire baskets. There was a lot of options, lots of different sizes. I think these were each about $12, which was more than I wanted to spend, but I was just thinking um, I don't plan on redoing my sewing room ever again, and so I just uh, went for paying the $12 for each of the baskets. Um, Susan, I don't know if you want to help with the Facebook commenting. I do see your comments, and I can send you one back. If you comment on the YouTube and after we're live, and I can reply to your comment and we can go back and forth and we'll figure out your issue. Um, well, Zena is ready for another four pack. Oh, <laughs> uh, this one just came out. 
Xena says, when does your next four pack come out again? So, um, the last four pack video bundle of the year will come out in August and that'll be for brand new videos. I've already written down the choices, but I'm not going to say just yet, uh, cause I want it to be sort of a surprise, but it'll be three videos for patterns that I've released in the past and then one brand new pattern because it seems to be working out well having a new pattern in each of the bundles. But that'll be in August, sometime in August, probably mid to late August. Valerie says, can I teach your free pattern to my quilt group? Yes, absolutely. Um, I'd like it if uh, you could direct uh, the students in your quilt group or, or your class uh, to my website. Um, but yes, you can certainly teach the free pattern to your quilt group. If you're if you're using a paid pattern, um, we just uh, respectfully ask that each student in the class has their own copy and not um, a photo, you know, one pattern purchased and photocopied for the group for a paid pattern. But um, that's just uh, respecting copyright law as far as that goes. Um, Vicki says, wondered if you ever run a bundle again. I missed the bundle deal for the minikins. So the minikins are still available. You can find it on my website if you go to sosweetness.com. The first big graphic on the screen says online workshops, and if you click on that, you can find the minikins there. They're still available. They'll always be available and always at that same price. Margaret says, do you have a pattern that would work for a lunch tote? I do have several lunch bag patterns. Uh, one of the minikins, uh, which is what I just talked about, is um, for a lunch bag called the morsel lunch bag, and I also have a standalone pattern called the peas and corn lunch bags. That's for the peas and corn has two different styles of lunch bags in the same pattern, as well as um, little snack bags. So if you wanted to make snack bags to go along with that out of fabric. Corey says, do you know where I can purchase Tula Pink ribbon? The ribbon is actually made by Renaissance Ribbons. Um, and you can also purchase the ribbon on their website. And that's renaissanceribbons.com. Karen says, have you thought about making a small bag that is worn on the thigh for when you are riding? I would wear it when riding my motorcycle. Um... I actually have gotten a request or two for um, like a bag that kind of goes on your thigh, like your waist and kind of straps to your thigh. So I have it in my idea file. I just uh, have it in there. It, it'll stay in there till I get to it. Um, another question, will 14 millimeter mag magnet closure work for bags? Um, I can't calculate in my head what the conversion is. 14 millimeter, do you know in um. inches what that would be? I think it's two and a half millimeters per inch. Hey Alexa, how many inches is 14 millimeters? 14 millimeters is 0 0.55 inches. It's a little over a half, half inch. inch. Okay, yeah, I have a 14 millimeter, AKA a half inch snap will work just fine for bags. Um, I think the common sizes for magnetic snaps, um, if you're looking in inches is half inch or three quarters of an inch or the 14 millimeter would be the same thing as a, a half inch snap. Any other good questions coming through? Um, Marianne says, how about a bag for bicycle handlebars? Now that I have a brand new bike, I, I would really love to have uh, something like that for my handlebars. So that is in my idea file as well. I also have in my idea file, um, a lot of people have been asking for um, a bag for a walker so or a wheelchair. So I have that in my file as well. Yeah, I see other people also mentioning about motorcycle riding. Uh, a bag that attaches to the belt and has a leg strap. Okay, cool. Um, I never would have thought of that on my own, so thank you for yeah, those I'll ideas. I'll post it so you can see it. Okay. Judy says, I have been asked by my motorcycle riding son if I can make a bag that attaches to belt and has a leg strap for items such as um, phone, wallet, and other supplies. Yeah, great ideas. Yeah, I, as I don't see bags like that myself, I never would have thought of that. Kathy says, do you know if a few layers of foil, uh, aluminum foil will work as... Um, RFID protection sewn inside the pocket. I actually don't know personally. I don't, I don't know the answer to that question. Maybe somebody else knows and can let us know in the comments. Um, Season Plumbing says, were you going to do a video for the Kennedy bag? Yes, we have it scheduled for sometime at the end of May. And that'll be a free video on my website as well as on the YouTube channel. And the Kennedy bag is um, currently available as a free pattern. I think I wrote that Oh gosh, probably four or five years ago, but we're going to be doing a video for that pattern um, sometime at the end of May. Debbie says, what are your tips for insulated batting in bags? So there's a few companies that makes insulated batting or fleece. So the warm company makes, um, who I forgot the name, uh, warm and bright, I think. Uh, no, 
I forgot the exact name of the warm product uh, for insulation, but uh, Pellon's product is called uh, Insul Fleece. And basically it's a fleece uh, product with one side has sort of a, an aluminum shiny looking finish and that either reflects cold or reflects heat. And if you put it in the lining of the bag and direct the aluminum finish toward the inside of the bag when you're sewing everything together, then that'll make your lunch bag insulated. And um, it's just a sew and interfacing. So you would, you would just base it to your lining fabric before you start assembling the bag. Alex says, will you be coming out with another backpack pattern? I want to make one for my granddaughter who will be starting kindergarten in September. So the, the additional backpack pattern that I have planned is for a single strap um, not a purse, but like, uh, what would you call it? Like a single strap backpack? Is there a name for that? Ooh, I have one, but I don't, I don't know what it's called, to be honest. Oh. I thought that was a crossbody bag, to be honest. Oh, okay. <laughs> I do have plans for a single strap backpack, but I think for a kindergartner, maybe the Cumberland backpack might be a better choice. There's also a video for the Cumberland backpack People said, available uh, now. Insul Bright. Insul Bright. Thank you. Um, oh, Kahina says, I have the greenback wallet pattern, wondering if you were coming out with more. So I do have some, uh, when I was talking earlier in the chat about the month of May and June, um, busy pattern writing for a big set of new patterns, uh, two or three wallets will be included in that next big set of patterns, and that'll be out sometime this fall. Christina says, how do you get creases out of foam interfacing? So if that foam interfacing is sewn and not fusible, I just take my iron and the iron, the heat from the iron gets rid of any creases or folds. Um, unfortunately, if your product is fusible, that won't work, but I usually use by any soft and stable. So that's a sew-in and the iron takes out all the creases really, really easily. And it's really effective. Um, Joni says, are you going to make a video for the Rockstar bag? I do have it on my list. Um, I, we might not get to it this year. We'll try our best, but... Um, Here's your answer for that bag. Multiple ladies said... Sling same bag. Same answer. A sling bag backpack. Oh, Delson. okay. Sling bag the backpack. Single... Okay. That, 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 that makes sense. Yeah. A lot of... Uh, I see okay. it scrolling through here. Thank pretty, you. <laughs> pretty fast. Okay. A lot of intelligent ladies and men here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sh the Sherman's asked this multiple times. I will address this question just because it makes Sarah's mad a little bit. It's a, a gaming question. Is this Fortnite. one of your friends? or I don't know who the Sherman is. Oh, but okay. They might be. So just in case if they're AR or not, I've not played it, but I'm looking forward to it. So thanks for the uh, question. Because I know your friends watch the show sometimes. So. Yeah, you've mentioned that like once or five times. Have I? No, I just think it's kind of funny because... Uh, I, you they, know, I, my, my friends support me. So, I mean, if I ask them, <laughs> hey, give me some likes on there, some shares, they don't ask. They just do it and... Uh, they're great guys that do watch the show for me and I appreciate it. Karen says it's teacher appreciation day. I didn't know that. Um, yeah, I saw that. Oh, that's, I, I wish I would have known Violet probably would have asked me to make some things for her teachers, but I didn't know. But, um, yeah, teachers are really important. Uh, you know, it's funny about, um, you know, my friends watching and stuff. My friend was watching with his wife last week. I think it's when Sarah was that when you released the Oreo bag? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you know, when I, I was modeling it, showing for scale size, and he took a screenshot of it, and he's like, yep, going to make this my desktop background picture. <laughs> and uh, a couple of my friends were laughing at me for it. So <laughs> no shame in my game, though, because I am a big supporter of the bag dude, bag lady, uh, everything about it. I can't say one thing, but I'm totally proud to wear one of Sarah's bags in the house, not outside. But if I made the the if the it was sling a dude bag, yeah. If, if it was I a make, dude bag, yeah. But I was joking about. Yeah, but that's if, not a dude bag. The one I put on. If I make on. the sling backpack, you'll wear that, right? Yeah, but for sure. But if I have to make it in like black fabric or something. No, that... Doctor Who. Okay. Boom. And you would. Wear I that? saw a really awesome Doctor Who. It was so close to picking that, but I don't want to go sci-fi Danny picks of the week. But there was a great Doctor Who, awesome fuss uh, fuss cut, and it was the Oreo bag. Mm -hmm. Really nice job in that one. Black, um, I think silver fleck cork. Uh, I'd like to request. Okay, let's see. Casey has some okay, ideas. Okay, Casey, I'd like to request three designs: a small cat, uh, a small pet carrier for travel for a companion pet, two a crossbody water bottle carrier, um, an extra large wallet that holds credit cards, gift cards, membership things. Um, great ideas, all of those. My parents had previously requested a small travel bag, even though their dog wouldn't fit in a small travel bag, but they just they just <laughs> want to. They just want to request a dog-related item. Um, 
that uh, water bottle carrier is a good idea. I was just thinking today that I, I wonder if part of my problem today was that I'm dehydrated because I when I go riding, it takes a lot of effort. And it seems like the last few weeks when I've gone riding, the rest of the day I've been useless. So I wonder if I am just not drinking enough water. But the water bottle bag would be really helpful for that. Kim wants to know, can you base on foam interfacing as my fabric um, kept peeling off? Yeah, even if your um, interfacing is fusible, you could still machine baste it. And I, I usually like to use a longer stitch length for machine basting because it makes it the sewing go really fast. So I increase my stitch length to four millimeters. Your machine might be different, but um, my regular stitch length is two and a half millimeters. For machine basting, I use four millimeters. I didn't pop up. I'll oh, go back okay. To Do you want to just read the or do you remember what the question was uh, it was your um friend i i like her name it when i read it initially it, it looks like killa to me but sir for me it's kyla it's kyla I mean, they're it's a little slow but there it is happy uh, teachers week happy nurses week happy law enforcement well, i didn't week. know oh, it's a popular week for sure i think i saw on facebook it was um nurses week as well very cool that's awesome back folks unite i like that <laughs> uh, all right maybe a couple more questions yeah okay yeah, and, and by the way, don't forget to enter that retreat giveaway um, one more day. Um, Doreen says, will you be releasing the Windy City Bags book in Kindle format like the Big City Bags book? Um, I'm not sure about that. Um, I thought it was available in Kindle, but I could be wrong. Um, let me check. If you want to email me, you can. Um, but that book came out in 2015, so I think whatever format it was going to come out, it's it's come out in those formats by now. Um, Harriet said, have you made a decision on an embroidery machine? And if not, have you found any you like? Do you want to give the update on that? Or We haven't found one, but I <laughs> I did purchase a 3D printing machine faster than Sarah picked out an embroidery machine. So the ball's in her court. Um, what to do? Where to go? Which one? Big, small? Should we go to more more shops and try some more out? Or do you I wish think... there were some video reviews. Honestly, I, when we go to the shops, they show us what they have. And it's hard to compare a side-by-side -side comparison how fast they they do the embroidery how you know how nice how tight is it how easy is it to I don't use? know if the is the speed of the embroidery the biggest issue I, I think feel the like, quality and ease of use yeah I would say the ease of use yeah. would be the biggest thing that's for why me. like the six needle or it's four needle whatever the I saw the multi some six needles yeah. yeah we saw a brother six needle machine that was I think seven or eight thousand to me that seemed like a lot of money that's a lot of money it's hard to swallow that much uh, for a machine but I understand there's a lot of software involved. Like my regular sewing machine is not computerized, so it's just the mechanical parts. But an embroidery machine has the the computerized portion and all that stuff has a lot going on. Yep. Um, Sonia says, what is the name of your book? Uh, I think they're back here. I'm going to grab them. Go ahead. I'll take a question while you're waiting for that. Okay. Glum asks, what 3D printing machine did I get? I got the, I believe it's pronounced... Prussia or Prussia MK3. Um, it's a highly uh, recommended 3D. It, they just released them. Um, it's on back order. I won't receive it probably for another couple of weeks, but um, I'm really excited about it. I think we can do some fun sewing stuff with it. Um, we'll see. I'm pretty excited about it. Okay, so the books um, that I have are Big City Bags was the first one. This came out in 2013, I think it was. And then Windy City Bags was the second one that come, came out in 2015. Uh, the pattern templates are in the first book are actually on the pages of the respective pattern. Um, no need to enlarge them. They're at 100%, so you would just copy the templates um, onto paper. And then the, the pattern pieces in the second book are in a pull-out page in the back of the book. So um, that's the, the major difference. And there's different patterns in both books. I don't repeat book patterns anywhere else so the patterns in here are only in here I don't have paper patterns that are separate for any of those same thing in here the, the patterns in this book are only in this book um, Carla says what book are you using for your tulip pink English paper piecing um, actually Violet you want to grab it it's over on the couch over there well, I'll just grab so I can hold it up okay Violet's going to grab that English paper piecing I'll talk about that in a second um, Sarah's question is do you have more orifil thread coming uh, I do have more Orifil coming. Actually, their warehouse is only 30 minutes away from where we live, but they send the, th obviously the thread comes from Italy, so they, th they send 
um, the thread from Italy over to the Chicago area warehouse, and hopefully I'll have more kits soon. Sorry, we sold out of those really quick. Um, the question Paul, about the English paper one. piecing. Oh, can you put the question back on? Or Yeah, uh, I can go back and find it if you want. Okay, you don't have to. It's okay. I was taking this comment off. Oh, okay. So the question was the tulip pink English paper piecing that I'm working on. What oh, book know. was that from? Um, the book is called The New Hexagon. It's by... Katya Merrick, um, her last name is M-A-R-E-K, and um, the pattern is not in the book. She has a free soul along on Facebook. It's called the New Hexagon Millefiore, and you have to use the templates in the book to um, work off the free quilt along on her Facebook page. And I have three, they're called rosettes, so I have three finished right. so far, and I'm trying to use um, a single, well, more or less a single color in each rosette. And it's really hard because I'm trying to uh, use the same color in the rosette, but yeah. still make the each part of the quilt stand out. So it's it's tricky picking fabrics so that they all don't like all the pink fabrics all don't blend in and look the same. Yep. Okay. So you want to call it there? Okay, we'll call it there. Um, we'll answer some more questions next Tuesday, but thanks so much for joining us yep, for Ask so Sarah, and we'll see you again next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central Time. Happy have a great sewing. Week. See you later. Maybe we won't see you later. Technical difficulties or? Yeah, it's just it's delayed. <laughs>